The Beef Seasoning Season All Tournament Bracket is heating up. Last week we saw two major upsets with the Adams Reserve beating out Killer Hogs and then we had the Fiesta Fancy Brisket Seasoning beat out the Slappy Old Daddy Competition Brisket Magic Rub. Results I was not expecting. Now, as I said in the video, I was going to go back and pull additional people, and I did. I pulled seven additional people so that we would have an odd number. And each of these won. It was a dead heat, but each of these won by one vote each. So when I tell you that these seasonings are delicious, there was a heated debate here. But in the end, these still won out. Everybody's first instinct went with these, and then we had no more meat left. So the debate raged on, and yet these two maintained their triumphant spots on the bracket. Also, last week, Joe did his two seasonings. So he had the Traeger Black in Saskatchewan and the PS Prime win their individual brackets also. So after this week, he will come back and he'll do his next two, which will be listed on his video. So very excited about the results so far. The tournament is kicking ass. Now, this week I am super excited. We have four heavy hitters entering the bracket. This heat is going to be awesome. What we have today is our Mad Scientist brisket seasoning going against the Meat Church Holy Cow Rub. So two huge players in the game. And in the other bracket, we have Chud himself, Bradley Robinson, his SPG mix, going up against Big Jake, the rising star TikTok in his SPG rub. So SPG versus SPG, who knows? We wanted to keep them kind of similar, so we'll see what these uh, end up being. So these four seasonings are going to be amazing. I cannot wait to try them out. And at the last week's bracket, I mean, it, it's anybody's game. It's anybody's game. As before, I'm gonna do the split down the middle. It worked really well last time. Uh, we got a lot of great meaty flavor to try out both rubs. We're gonna try that out. We're gonna season up all four sides. We're gonna cook them the same way. We're gonna get them on the pellet smoker at 250 until they reach an internal temperature of about 180-ish, 185-ish. Then we're gonna wrap them in tallow. We'll finish them in the oven. When they reach an internal temperature of about 203, we'll pull them out, cool them to about 160 to 170, let them rest and then we'll get into the beef. So let's get them seasoned up and on the smoker. been just over four hours. Look at the pullback on some of these guys already. This is looking insane. So we have one, two, three, and four, I believe. And two OG racks right there. Let's get some temps. 177.8. Man, this is like butter already. 182. 183, four. Overall, these racks are looking perfect. It's time to get them off. We're gonna wrap them up, get them in the oven, and finish off the cook. First heat is gonna be the Mad Scientist brisket rub versus the Meat Church Holy Cow. So, eyes are closed. Give me the first piece. I'm trying not to hear which plate you're getting it from. Let me know when you have it on the fork. Mm. Oh God, that is delicious. 
Okay, this is the second taste. Second taste. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Taste number two has a little bit more of a beefy flavor. Taste number one kind of exploded in my mouth with flavor. So, I like number one. Which one was number one? Number one. Okay. Number one was the Mad Scientist. It's interesting too because when I tasted that, it felt like it pulled the flavor of the meat out. But let's go number two. They were both delicious. So beef ribs, man. You cook properly, you can't go wrong. Okay, heat number two. This is Chud versus Big Jake from TikTok. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try not to decide and uh, make sure I don't hear where it's coming from. Blah, 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 blah. I'll take the fork. Okay, eyes are closed. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Contender number two. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna go with number two. That's Bradley's. Okay, so it looks like from my perspective, Chud's Barbecue and Jeremy Yoder, uh, the mad scientists have advanced in my particular taste test. Now I do have more people coming over tonight to test, so I'm going to reserve the final tally until after everyone tries it. I wanna make sure that nobody thinks I'm biased. So we're gonna try it again. I wanna say specifically that all four of these were delicious. They are deliciously composed. They bring out the flavor of the meat. The two ones that had more in the seasoning did not con like detract from the taste of the meat. It was delicious. So I am going to be really interested in seeing who the results are and who everybody else picks tonight. But until then, we will know that I have chosen Mad Scientist and Bradley, and we'll see who comes next. So stay tuned for the results. All right, the results are in, and it was amazing. Every single rub was delicious. The winners both had a total, though, of five votes to two votes. So each winner secured five votes for their individual brackets. And the winners were the Mad Scientist Brisket Mix and Chud's SPG. So I didn't want anyone to think I was biased, so I obviously randomized it for everyone else. And, uh, and everybody picked the winners that they chose. So what an amazing tournament. Now I will say additionally, and I'll shut up, is that everyone had a really hard time choosing this week. It was very, very good. Everyone loved all the rubs. Obviously these were standouts, but after we had done the test and everything, like people were just going back and eating more and more and more. So you can't go wrong with either one of these rubs. I'm gonna put them on the bracket. Joe has a great tournament coming up next week. So that will be his second to last before the end of the bracket, and then we're coming down to the end of the round one playoffs. So this is gonna be great. It's a really good uh, tournament so far, and we'll see you on the next one.